It's my great honor this evening to welcome you to a very special occasion on top of all the lovely things that we have heard tonight from Stephanie and Madeline and all the people who have worked so hard on this evening. We have another fabulous thing to do this evening. And we are going to honor an Arch Clump Society member who, inspi who inspires those around them and encourages us all through his great generosity to the Rotary Foundation. Our honoree, you'll see his bio on your table. Please look at that if you have not. Has demonstrated a commitment to serving others and has brought hope and progress to communities around the world. Your gifts to our foundation finance vital projects that make life healthier, happier, and more peaceful for so many. And on behalf of all your friends at the Rotary Foundation, thank you. Now to lead us in today's ceremony, I am pleased to introduce Trustee Chair Mark Maloney. Thank you very much, Director Treasurer Beth Stubbs. And welcome to all this evening. It is also my honor to welcome the newest member of our esteemed Arch Klumpf Society. <clears throat> As you may know, the Rotary Foundation was founded by past president Arch C. Klumpf. He envisioned what would be possible if Rotarians had such a foundation to support their efforts. It was through Rotary that he made this ambition a reality. The members of the Arch Klumpf Society, named in his honor, exemplify his belief that service to mankind, to humankind, truly changes our world. And for that reason, it is the greatest work of life. Those who benefit from the programs and initiatives you have made possible may not be able to thank you firsthand for the great impact you have had on their lives. But know that the legacy of your service will reverberate for generations. On behalf of all of those for whom you have provided clean water, vaccines, educational opportunities, and medical care, we gather to say thank you. So, more officially perhaps than Beth did a moment ago, it is now my honor because it's in the script that way. <laughs> it, it, is, it, it is now my honor to introduce the Rotarian and friend of our foundation whom we celebrate today. So please recognize past district governor Mark Fields and his partner Kit who unfortunately cannot be with us. So Mark, if you would just stand for a moment and be recognized. It is also my honor this evening to introduce those Rotarians who have distinguished themselves as leaders among us. They are here to applaud the work of our new Arch Klumpf Society member. So I welcome to this evening's 
celebration, our Rotary International President, Stephanie Yurchik. <laughs> Past Rotary International President, John Germ and Judy Germ. Rotary International Director and Trustee, Beth Stubbs and Tony Stubbs. I'm a now. No, I mean. Thank you for making me a trustee. We could do worse. <laughs> Rotary International Director and Treasurer, there I go, Beth Stubbs and Tony. Rotary Foundation Trustee Vice Chair, Larry Lunsford. <laughs> Rotary Foundation Trustee, Akira Mickey and Haru Mickey. Past director, past vice president, past trustee, and chair of the Council on Legislation, Ken Schubert and Lynn Schubert. <laughs> past director, Elizabeth Yusevich. Director-elect, Brian Hall. <clears throat> Let's please not forget John Hugo. Okay. Let's not. General Secretary and CEO of Rotary International and the Rotary Foundation of Rotary International. Try to get that on a business card. John Huco. And last but certainly not least, the partner of the chair of the trustees of the Rotary Foundation, <laughs> Gay Maloney. So, I would now like to ask our president, Stephanie Yurchik, to say a few words of congratulations to past district governor, Mark Fields. Thank you. Mark, I have very simple words to say to you, and they are thank you. Thank you for your generosity, and thank you for considering the Rotary Foundation in your philanthropy. You know, this particular Rotary year, we are working under a message of the magic of Rotary. And you know, our foundation is the arm of Rotary that lets us do that magic. So I just simply want to say thank you for allowing us to look into the future and continue magic because of your very grateful, uh, generous, and, and awesome gift. You and Kit are fantastic. Thank you so much. And Mark, what a great name, Mark. On behalf of the trustees of the Rotary Foundation of Rotary International, it is my sincere pleasure to express our gratitude for your generosity to do good in the world. And I now ask Director, Treasurer, not Trustee, Beth Stubbs to return to the lectern. I have my tall shoes on tonight. Yeah, I see that. Okay. Thank you, Mark.
Thank you, Mark. <laughs> oh, we went several pages over, I'm sorry. First, I have to tell you that there's also something very special and personal to me about Mark Fields. And that is that his brother, Harry Fields, is in our very own district, 6780, and he too is an Arch Clump member. So, when I found out that he was our honoree, and I was finally able to make all the connections, I was just absolutely thrilled. And his brother is away and could not be with us tonight, but I feel like the family of Rotary is present with you in this endeavor. Would all those, if you don't mind, who are Arch Clump Society members would stand and let us recognize you also with Mark. Would you please stand? And thank you for joining us here this evening. We have several Arch Clump members in our two zones. So I would now like to ask our honoree, Mark Fields, to share a few remarks with us. Mark? Thank you. Thank you, Beth and Stephanie and Mark. Wonderful, wonderful words. A little bit, uh, a little bit intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can find. Oh, John scores 10 to 3, Tennessee, right now. I'll get you out of here by the second overtime, I promise. <laughs> so I was asked to say a few words, and I was also asked to not say a few words. But I was told not to say a lot of words no matter what. So <laughs> I am going to say a few words. And I'm sorry that Kit couldn't be here. And, and uh, I talked to her earlier today, and so many of you have asked about her, and, and she's so appreciative of uh, your concern for her. She's doing well, and uh, she's just as lovely as she is in that picture. And uh, I appreciate you asking about her. So um, being up here is a little bit embarrassing. We don't do this for recognition. Uh, this is like an overkill of recognition, but it's very nice. So, so why do we do this? We do this because we're Rotarians, because we are inspired by other Rotarians. Um, kind of like uh, a trustee, uh, Akui Miki, said earlier today, I'm not sitting on a huge pile of money. You know, I just do what I do, and so I, I, I look for ways to help, and I'm glad that I was able to do this. But I was inspired, and I'm inspired by everyone out here, people that give of themselves their, ta their talents and their time to Rotary. Uh, I mean, look at all you guys. It's just incredible. Um, and then the people, who, and you're all givers. Uh, many out here have given a heck of a lot more absolute money to the foundation than I have. And many of you on the margin of what you're able to give have certainly given uh, more than, than might be expected. Uh, so I'm inspired by that, and I think you ought to be congratulated for that. Um, so I guess, you know, I don't know that I'm an inspiration, but I do hope that somebody out there who, you know, some of you, several of you know me, and so maybe you're looking up here and you're saying, you know, if that sad sack can uh, come up with a little money. <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe I can too, and, uh, and maybe you can. So if you're thinking that, do what I did. I called my uh, endowment and major gift advisor, and at that time it was Pamela Stewart, I think, and, and Pamela I said, I'm thinking about doing something, and she put me with the Rotary people, and it's incredible, uh, the schemes, and I mean that in the, the way the British put it. It's a, it's a good word. It's the, the, the strategies that they have, the tax advantage, and they can find a way to make that happen for you. So if you, if you think you want to do that, just a little bit. It doesn't cost you anything to investigate that. So I hope, I hope you'll think about doing that. 
Lastly, there was something that was said yesterday that I want to address because it came up in my club. A friend came up to me and he said, Mark, what about your children? I said, what about my children? He said, you're giving away their inheritance. And I said, well, look, I put my children through college and they got good educations. And my young, well, I'm not going to say which one, but uh, <laughs> I guess I just did. <laughs> one of them declared to me that he is a Democrat socialist. Now, I don't know what that is, but I think it means the government's going to take care of him. <laughs> so, so I don't really know that I feel compelled. <laughs> And then you don't want to do for one what you don't do for the other. <laughs> so I kind of put it on the other one. He's going to have to bring that up, his brother around <laughs> if they want anything left over. So, uh, no, there'll be, a, there'll be a little something left for them. But I, I do think that we all need to think about that hoarding for future generations may not be any better than hoarding for ourselves. So when you, th when you look at your savings and you look at your money, you think, oh, I want to... It can do good today. It doesn't need to all go to those. You've done a lot for your children. I've done a lot for my children. They'll do well. They'll do well. Think about doing something for somebody else today. So I know you all do, and I just hope we'll all do some more. God bless you. Go Vols.